We're gonna chat a little bit about melasma. This is a broad topic, so we'll have a lot of videos on this. In general, melasma has a couple treatment options. There are topical options, oral options, lasers, and peels. These are your general categories. Now, there are other um, ancillary treatments as well, but these are the main categories. One of the things I'm gonna focus on, just, just one thing in this video, is the concept of tranexamic acid. A lot of people have been coming to the clinic asking about this particular thing, and, and with good reason. It is an amazing molecule. Tranexamic acid is as actually a anti-blood clot medication used to prevent bleeding. And so it blocks and interacts with a specific component called plasmin and plasminogen. This is actually also in the skin, which is why we think it works. What happens is when you get sun damage or UV damage, it leads to a buildup of these compounds in the skin itself. So as it interacts with it, it actually um, creates a chemical reaction that blocks the conversion of certain uh, pre-molecules into uh, your pigment, your melanin. And so in melasma, it's really helpful because uh, melasma is uh, part of that pathway that creates excess pigmentation in the face or other areas that have sun exposure and or have hormonal um, simulated cells there. And so transamic acid can be used topically, usually in the two to 5% range to decrease the risk of pigmentation after procedure or even with melasma. And oftentimes it's tricky because it actually is water soluble, but it requires an oil carrier to make it bioavailable in the skin. Topical transamic acid has been around for a bit and it's in a lot of products you can get. However, what's more recently popular is something called oral transamic acid. This is the pill form. The pill form, you have to be a little more careful because if you have a history of blood clots or um, are at risk for clotting in general, it is usually not recommended that you're on this particular medication. But um, if you don't have those risk factors, you can talk to your dermatologist about different ways that oral transamic acid can actually help a lot with really recalcitrant pigmentary disorders such as melasma. Okay, so this is something that is quite complex and so you do need a medical professional who knows what they're doing. In general, you can use transamic acid orally to um, help enhance the treatment using other methods as well. If you do peels and lasers, oral transamic acid can actually help with the results of that as well. So, you know, just, just be sure that um, you're medically clear to do so, but it can be one of the most effective things you do for your melasma. Okay, if you have any questions, I will be doing more series on melasma, so make sure you subscribe and follow. We'll have a full on, you know, four or five videos on the melasma series. Good to see everyone.